Hi, Meadows Mustangs. Congratulations on finishing your first day of homeschooling. I know there were probably some challenges, but from what I've heard, you're doing a great job, so keep up the great work. Today, I'm doing my second video that's going to go along with SCORE. At Meadows, we score when we are safe, kind, on task, responsible, and respectful. You may be asking yourself, is it possible to be kind at home? Yes, it is, and I'm going to tell you a lot of ways that you could do that. A very important way that you could be kind is to appreciate your parents. I know that I do. I know that many of our parents work from home. They've been preparing food for you when you're not normally at home during a school day. They're helping you with your schoolwork, which is challenging. They're encouraging you. They're keeping you safe. Give them a hug and tell them how grateful you are to have them. It's always a good time to be kind and use your manners. But now, more than ever, we need you to be kind. So when you talk to each other, I need you to talk to each other respectfully and kindly. For example, excuse me, I will move my paper for you. Thank you for the delicious breakfast. Please pass the pencil to me. I'm sorry for not being patient today. I'd be happy to share my art supplies with you. May I be excused, please? When you talk to your family members at home, please remember to be kind and always use your manners. Another way to be kind is to clean up your messes. More kids at home and more people at home means more messes at home. So one way you could be kind is to make sure that if you made the mess, you clean it up. That's the rules. How many of you love to help? Well, one way to be kind is to help with chores, especially at home. You can help set the table. You can help sweep the floor. You can help make your bed. There's an endless amount of things that you can help at home with. So be kind and help with chores at home. All right, I get it. Not everybody has a dog. But one thing you can do that's kind for your dog is to walk your dog. What if you don't have a dog? Can you still go outside to walk? Yes, it is still safe to walk with your family, get some exercise, walk yourself, or walk your dog. Now this one is a favorite of mine. It is kind to call your grandparents. It's always kind to call your grandparents, but especially now. Guess who misses seeing your face? Your grandparents. And when you call them, don't just talk about how you're doing. Ask them how they're doing, how their day is going, how they're coping with being stuck inside all day. It is kind to call your grandparents. So there's one more person that you need to be kind to, and that is yourself. I want you to treat yourself well, too. One of the ways you can do that is by eating healthy. Just because you're home all day doesn't mean you should eat whatever you want. Still, be healthy, take care of your body, eat good stuff. When you do your work, feed your mind, be present where you are. Just know that what you're doing at home matters and treat yourself well in education. Do something you love every day, whether it's art, whether it's any, anything that you're creating, do something to treat yourself well that you enjoy. Exercise. Even if you're just running around your yard or taking a walk, jumping up and down, watching an exercise video, take care of yourself and be kind to yourself by exercising. Think of some family things that you could do together. Could be a puzzle, could be a board game. Do some fun things together. And sleeping. Make sure that you're getting enough sleep every night. Just because you're not coming to school every day right now doesn't mean you don't need enough sleep. So be kind and treat yourself well. All of this will be over soon enough and you'll be back to school with your friends and teachers. Let me remind that while you're at home, be kind. Tomorrow's video will be about being on task. Goodbye, Mustangs.